Uh, June 2020, question number four, uh, construction and uh, local uh, type of a question. All right, so uh, like I always say, whenever you're given a construction, the first thing is to make sure that you've got a sketch. All right, so you're given use ruler and compasses only for all construction uh, and show clearly all construction lines and acts. All constructions should be done on a single diagram. Construct triangle ABC with in which AB is equivalent to seven centimeters, BAC 45 degrees, and uh, BC eight centimeters. So always try by all means to make sure that the angles are found on the base. Always try to make sure that the angles are found on the base. What am I trying to say? On your sketch, try by all means to make this angle to be 45 or to make this angle to be 45. Not to say on your sketch, you've got 45 degrees on this side. No, no, no. And try by all means to have your angles on the base. All right, so uh, like I say, this is just a sketch, the one that is helping you uh, on your construction. So you can just have, a, it's a triangle. So you're gonna just have a normal triangle like this, uh, 45 degrees at A. So I'm just gonna have my 45 degrees like this. So if it is at A and it's B, A, C, it means it's either this is gonna be B or this will be B like B, A, C or B, A, C, whatever way that you want. So I'm gonna have this as B, a C A B C. So it's angle B A C 45 degrees. All right. So just like that, or maybe you could have taken it this way, uh B A C, this being 45 degrees, or whatever way that you want. It's just a sketch. Uh, but the sketch is important because it's the one that you're going to, to use. All right, then from there we are given A B being seven centimeters. So we've got seven centimeters here, B C. Uh, eight centimeters. All right. So let us construct this triangle now. Uh, it's going to be an interesting type of equation that we have here. Uh, very, very interesting uh, type of equation. Anyways, let us see. Remember, I always say all your constructions start from a point. So you're going to need a point, uh, meaning to say our ruler and uh, compasses should be there. All right. So let us just start by having the line. A, B, this one is just a line of your choice. You do not know exactly where your A is. So just draw your line. Do not measure seven centimeters here. No, this is construction, guys, not drawing. All right, so we mark a point. The point that we are going to mark, it's our reference point, which is the point A in this case, this one. All right, so that is gonna be our reference point A. At point A, there's an angle that we have there of uh, uh 45 degrees so in order for us to have 45 degrees remember we have to construct 90 degrees and how do you construct 90 degrees that means uh we have two we need two points from this point just open a distance of your choice uh mark a point here another point on this side here all right so you open more than half of the line from these two points uh open more than half of the line mark an arc on top, another arc down. But since I have A as a reference point, I'm not gonna mark uh, down, I'm just gonna mark on one side. If you want, you can do that, but there's no need because already there's a reference point A. So meaning to say whatever that you're going to construct is going back to, to A. All right, so this is what you're going to have. This is our 90 degrees from what? from point A. So using your ruler, you can join, but this must be a broken line. Remember, we do not want uh, this 90 degrees. The angle that we want there is 45 degrees. So this one is just going to be our reference. So it must be a broken line. All right, so that's 90 degrees there. All right, then from there, we can bisect this line, uh, this angle. Remember to bisect uh, an angle, gonna need two arcs from the lines which are creating the angle, these two lines, this line and this line. So that's where we're gonna mark our ax in this case. So you just mark ax of your choice, but the first one should be linked with this one, the uh, where it is continuous. Not Do not mark where it is broken, all right? So here I've marked a point here where it is continuous. I mark another point there. From these two points, this one, where it is continuous without changing the distance, I mark uh, an arc inside where I expect my 45 de degrees to be. I do the same from this point where I expect my 45 degrees to be. All right, I expect my 45 degrees to be at this point here. All right, I'm gonna join like that. So with these two arcs, if we join them, then we are having the angle of uh, 
45 degrees in this case. So this is how we can simply uh, construct our angle of uh, 45 degrees from a given point like this. All right, from a given point, we have got our angle of 45, and we don't know where this is going to be. So try by all means to make this line as big enough because you do not know even the measurements of this line. So let it be big enough. It's not a drawing like I always say, it's a construction. So whatever that you're going to do is going to be marked. All right, so we know that this is 45 degrees. That's the thing that we know. And the other thing that we know from point A, we know the distance from A to B. The distance there is seven uh, centimeters. So meaning to say we can join seven centimeters. We can mark seven. We measure it from your ruler. So here, uh, let's say I have measured my seven centimeters from the ruler like this. Let's say I have measured my... Uh, my seven centimeters like this. All right, so this is the one that you measure on your ruler here with your compass, okay? So here I have got my seven centimeters. I mark these seven centimeters on the line, all right? So I'm gonna mark this point, meaning to say I now have the point B, which is seven centimeters from, which is seven centimeters from A. That's what we know from this information so far. All right, we move on from point B. We know that from the same point B that we are given here to the point C, there is a distance of eight centimeters. And we, are, and we know that C is found along this line. That is where C lies. So if C lies along this line, it means I just have to measure eight centimeters from this line. I mark an arc where these two meet, I'm going to join two to B. All right, so let us uh, measure. So you measure on your ruler eight centimeters, like for me, uh, let's say I've measured on my ruler, this is my eight uh, centimeters, all right? This is my eight centimeters. I have to mark from the point B with the eight centimeters, this one, I have to mark an arc along this line, all right? If these two do not meet, don't worry. All right, this is what we know, that it's eight centimeters from B, this is what you know. But these two do not meet because this line that we had before, it's uh, small enough, it's smaller than uh, what was expected. So we have to uh, rejoin again. We have to, uh, I mean, extend this line just a little bit from where you are having your original line, just extend that line if they do not, if they, if they, if they are not meeting, but if they meet at, 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 at once, there's no need for you to extend that line. But in this case, they, they were not meeting. So that's why I had to extend. So I know that along the 45 degrees and eight centimeters from B, I have the point C. So it means where these two are intersecting, that's where our point C is found. So from there, we can join from B to C. Since we've got our point C, we can join. So here we're gonna simply join. Uh, let us join from uh, B to C like this. All right. That's with something like uh, this, all right? So you are going to join uh, these two points from B, uh, from C and B together. That is, we have completed our triangle now. This is the triangle that we're supposed to have drawn, uh, that we have, we have constructed. So it's a construction, it's not a drawing, but that we are supposed to have a triangle. Like this is a drawing triangle, it's supposed to be this is construction. These are lines are supposed to, we are supposed to see all these to show that you have construction. The acts, everything, do not erase anything. You use everything as it is. Uh, do not erase any part of your diagram. All right, so this we know that it was eight centimeters from, from C, this one, from B and C. All right, so that's what we know so far. Let us move on to item two. On item two, we are now asked to construct the locus of points equidistant from B and C. So whenever you're dealing with the locus, remember I explained the four loci that you're supposed to know. Uh, the locus of points equidistant from two points, we've got B, we've got C, it's a line bisector or a perpendicular bisector. It bisects this line, meaning to say we've got equal distance from this line to C, from this line to B. So this one, it represents a line bisector. So that's a line bisector of what BC. So we wait is B and C, we are going to bisect that line. All right, so this is our BC. Remember how to bisect a line. You open more than half from another point. So from point B, just open more than half. 
like this, we construct an arc on this other hand and another arc on the other hand here where we just expect our bisector to be. We do the same from point C. We are going to do the same from point C without changing our distance, but at point C, now uh, we do the same, mark an arc, as you can see these two, they meet here. You do the same on this side, these two, they meet uh, at that point. Where these points, uh, where these arcs actually meet, like these arcs that we are seeing meet, we can join them, all right? So we're gonna join the two arcs, uh, this one to this one, all right? So this line that we have just drawn now, it is, bisect it is bisecting the line BC, it is dividing our line BC into two equal parts, all right? So that is our line here, like this, okay? So we have constructed the bisector of uh, BC, but you see the, the question was not construct the bisector of BC, no, construct the locus of points equidistant from this and this. But you, you have to use the, 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 the construction part now, you convert whatever that you're given to an understanding of the, the construction. So whenever you are talking about equal distance from two points, it's a line bisector. And I think I explained this on our Loci. All right, item three, the locus of points five centimeters from C. C, it's a fixed point. And I said, whenever you are given the locus of points from a fixed point, you draw a circle. So in this case, you are going to have a circle of radius five centimeters. It's gonna have five centimeters from C. So we need point C, all right? So at point C, we are going to draw a circle of radius five centimeters. So what you do is that you measure five centimeters on your ruler, all right? So this is five centimeters from your ruler. At point C, you draw a circle from there. You are going to step at point C like this, you draw a circle of radius five centimeters. So this circle that we have just drawn from C, it has a radius of five centimeters. Don't indicate anything or to indicate this is my item one, this is my item two. The marker knows everything that you are doing. So don't waste that time trying to clarify to say this is where it, whenever they mark this, they have, they will definitely measure each and every part. So from C, we've got five centimeters like that. All right, let us try to understand what they are now asking on uh, part B. On part B, we are given that. There is a point R that is inside the triangle. This is the first thing. The point that we are supposed to mark, it's inside the triangle, meaning to say, whatever that you are going to be talking about, it must be inside triangle ABC. All right. And this point that we are talking about in this case, the same point that we are saying is inside the triangle, we are told that it is nearer B than C. How do you see that a, how do you see that a distance is nearer B or C? Okay, I explained that there's a line bisector of BC. So you can tell because this bisector, it gives equal distance from B to the line bisector, from the line bisector to C. So the distance nearer to B is supposed to be the distance that is on this side of the bisector, the line bisector. And we had the line bisector of uh, B and C on item, on item two. So this distance is supposed to be on the side of the bisector, this one, the line, this is our line bisector. The distances that we are talking about, they are supposed to be on this side nearer B, but inside the triangle, they're supposed to be inside the triangle nearer B. All right, so this is where we expect our, our, our points to be. They are on this side of B. This is what we have for now. All right, let's read the uh, last statement. The last statement is that, and is less than five centimeters from C. What do we have from C? Remember from C, we have got a circle from C, and they are saying it's less than five centimeters from C. All right. This is where we have our C here. Everything from C, five centers from C is represented by this circle. Remember, we constructed this circle because of what locus of points, five centimeters from a fixed point, which is C. Now they are saying the distance that we said it's closer to B, which is, which is the one that was affected by this bisector. The same distance that we are talking about or the same point, it's less than five cent. Anything that is less than five is supposed to be inside the circle that is less than. If they said it's more than five centers, it's supposed to be outside of the circle. 
So here they're saying it's less than five centimeters. So meaning to say the distance that we are only, or the region that we are only remaining with is this region here. It is nearer B. It is on the side of the line bisector, this one of B, that is nearer B. Inside the triangle, and less than five centimeters from C, less than five, which means it's uh, inside the circle, but it won't be this side because this region, it's nearer C, but they said it must be nearer B. So nearer B is the one that is limited by the line bisector, because this line bisector, it gives us equal distance. So any distance that is closer to B must be from the line bisector to the side of what? To the side of B. All right, so this is the region that we are going to indicate R. So R is not a point, is the whole region that we, we, we shaded. That is what we call uh, locus. All right, then measure and write down the size of ABC. Measure and write down the size of ABC. So in this case here, if I'm to measure because I've been increasing, uh, reducing my diagram, I won't be able to obtain the exact angle, but the angle that they wanted you to measure was this angle here, ABC. So let me just show you. Uh, what you're supposed to do, but you're supposed to obtain something like 100 degrees or uh, 99, 99 something, but 100 degrees, I think. Uh, so you have to measure the angle using your protractor. In this case, you place it at B. This point here, the point where there's a plus here, you place it at B, like this at B. So the angle they want is this one from A, to B to C. So you're measuring these angles inside from A here going this direction like this. This is the angle that you're supposed to measure. So where it is going to the arc there, it is going at this angle. So like I said, because of the changing up and down, but what I got from the previous one, the one that I did actually was uh, 100 degrees, but here uh, for this one, it's uh, 97 something. So I don't know the angle that you're going to get there, uh, but you are supposed to use your protractor on that measurement you're supposed to measure it properly all right so like i said when i did this one i got something like 100 uh separately so i don't know what you're getting let us know uh the angles that you obtained but let it not be uh from like a, a, a value that is uh not closer to 100 your value must be closer to 100 degrees at least let it be closer to that all right, so that was our construction. As you can see, these are the typical questions. And how, this is how actually they ask these questions. All you need is to know the part of your construction and the, the loci concept. There are four of them. Locus of points equidistant from a fixed point from two points, from two lines, from a line itself, when you are given a line. So you need to know how and how, to, how do you convert or how do you take it from locus to construction. If you can tell the difference, then uh, you are actually done.